Welcome to our reading today from the Alive Church Life Transformation Discipleship Plan. Every day we read from the daily reading and the verses chosen for that day. This week our focus is on communion. I will remember the cross of Jesus through communion. It was only his death that Jesus told us to remember, not his birth or his life, his words or his works, only his death. I will do this through the commemorative act that Jesus instituted on the night before he was crucified, commonly known as the Lord's Supper or Communion. I will remember what Jesus did for me. I will remember with a grateful heart that through his grace he chose me. This was his plan and will for me before the beginning of time. I will remember with a grateful heart that he exchanged his life for mine. Jesus stepped in and took my place. As a result, I am no longer guilty of sin and am accepted by God the Father. I will remember with a grateful heart that he secured my position as a child of God through the cross. I will remember with a grateful heart that through all things his love sustains me. I will remember the cross of Jesus through communion. The small amount of bread and wine in this supper represents the work of Jesus on the cross. This one act of worship is central to remembering Jesus' sacrifice for me. I will prayerfully prepare my heart for communion through confession of my sin, asking God to draw me closer to Him from where I have drifted and by focusing on Jesus. As I take the bread, I will remember His body was broken for me. As I drink the wine, I will remember His blood was shed for the forgiveness of my sins and give thanks. Jesus' desire for me as his follower is to remember his sacrifice on the cross paved the way for the forgiveness of my sins and for me to have a right relationship with God the Father. As I do, I will be nourished and empowered by his Spirit, and I am proclaiming my faith as a follower of Jesus. I live in all the benefits of his resurrection from the dead and my anticipation and hope in his return. I will remember the cross of Jesus through communion. Now for day three of our daily readings from the Bible, focused on communion this week. Today's topic, community. From Matthew 26, 17 through 30, again, selected passages from this longer passage. Be sure you read the entire thing, 26, 17 through 30 in Matthew. Pick up in verse 19. So the disciples did as Jesus told them and prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, Jesus sat down at the table with the twelve. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this and eat it, for this is my body. And he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to them and said, Each of you drink from it, for this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. From Acts 2, 42 and 46, all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to the sharing of meals, including the Lord's Supper and to prayer. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. In Acts chapter 20, verses 7 and 11, On the first day of the week, we gathered with the local believers to share the Lord's Supper. Paul was preaching to them, and since he was leaving the next day, he kept talking until midnight. Then they all went back upstairs, shared in the Lord's Supper, and ate together. Paul continued talking to them until dawn, and then he left. And our memory verse this week is written by Paul in 1 Corinthians 11:26. 26. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. We're honored to be able to provide these daily readings for you. It's a key ministry from Alive Church in Tucson. Find out more about Alive Church at AliveChurch.com. Have a great day.